Hello and welcome to Humanities at Fernhill Secondary School. Humanities is a mixture of three subjects studying geography, history and RE. And they are academic subjects that investigate human society and culture, as well as investigating the living and natural world. It is our mission and vision here at Humanities Fernhill to make sure that students understand that the world is their world, is to ensure that they understand that they are part of this world, to make sure that they're not sat on the sidelines and watching life go by. It is massively important to us to ensure that if they want to be, see change, they have to be part of that change. It is important for us to engage the students to understand that it is their world. Geography at Key Stage 3 focuses on three areas. Firstly, the physical world. This includes rivers, coasts, atmospheres and natural hazards, such as earthquakes and volcanoes. We also study the human world of population, settlement, development and trade patterns. I passionately believe that geography is pivotally placed and vitally important in 2020 and beyond. In 2020, we stand at a crossroads. It is your generation that will face three massive global changes. One, climate change. Two, overpopulation and migration. Three, changing global superpowers. Through studying geography, you will gain a better understanding of this and you will be better equipped to help make a difficult decisions that lay ahead. So what is it that you really enjoy about Geography Key Stage 3? In geography, I enjoy the natural things like volcanoes and earthquakes. Even though they're dangerous, we can benefit from them quite a lot. Hi Mackenzie, what is it that you enjoy about Geography Key Stage 3? I enjoy learning about climate change because it's something that's going, going to affect us affect us in the future and it's nice to know what to do in that kind of situation. Shanta, what is it you enjoy about Key Stage 3 Geography? I enjoy flooding. You enjoy flooding? What, yeah. do, you, what do you mean by that? I enjoy learning about flooding. Hello and welcome to History at Fernhill School. My name is Alison Fordyce and I'm the Key History Teacher here at Fernhill. Um, first of all, a warm welcome to you all. And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown about history, what we do when we come into school, into Key Stage 3, and then a, a quick um, run through Key Stage 4 and 5. History is a very popular subject across Key Stage 3 and 4. We have students who study it for three years, absolutely love it, and go on to do GCSE. So when you come into Year 7, um, the first thing that we start with, of course, will be the Battle of Hastings, 1066. And we go on to look at certain battles, King John, for example, and then the Tudors, where we examine um, Henry VIII and his, wife, his wives and his son, Edward VI and Elizabeth. Um, we then move on to the Stuarts, where we look at why Charles I lost his head. He was a bit of a daft king. And the fact that England, did you know, was actually reigned for 11 years without a king. For 11 years, we didn't have a king. Rang by a man called Oliver Cromwell, who didn't want to be called king, wanted to be called Lord Protector and had lots of warts. When you go into year eight, you'll be studying um, things like the slave trade, and we'll get to broaden our horizons a little bit about looking about the links between Africa and America. We also look at the Industrial Revolution, which is an absolutely amazing century. And then in year nine, we go on to look at World War I, and the causes of World War I, long-term, short-term causes, before going into the interwar years and we see the rise of rather nasty people like Adolf Hitler. So Kitty, tell me, what do you like studying about history now? Um, I like studying different parts of World War I and seeing how it happened. Also details like why the trench system was set up. And what is it about history that interests you in general? Um, population and how society was and the role of kings and queens and how life has changed and gotten better, especially for for particular groups of people. Hello, I'm Mr Wakeling and I teach philosophy, religion and ethics and I'd like to introduce you to some of our students who can tell you a little bit more about what you'll be studying when you come to Fernhill and come to our classes. The reason I like to in, uh, learn religion is I really like learning about new religion and new cultures because the reason why I like it is uh, they're interesting to find and you can just answer the question very well. 
Hi, my name's Tia, I'm in year 8 and I really enjoy doing Hinduism in our room because it's really interesting learning about all the gods and like what happens and how they celebrate when they have big festivals and it's just really interesting so you'll definitely enjoy it and it's just really fun. I've really enjoyed learning about religion and the in-depth discussions we've had in class and sharing my ideas with the class. I believe philosophy, religion, ethics is not just an interesting and enjoyable subject which I love to teach, but it's also an essential one, and I feel passionately about this. We live in a richly diverse country. We have people from all over the world, of many, and they come with many traditions, beliefs, and customs. And in order for us to get along in harmony and to get along nicely with each other, it's essential we have the knowledge and understanding. At Fernhill in Year Seven, we'll be looking at different religions and also um, give you a chance to explore your own beliefs. And by doing that, we're going to equip you with the knowledge and put an end to ignorance and hatred and instead encourage and foster positive qualities such as respect, kindness and tolerance to each other. So I really look forward to you coming to Fernhill. Hope you can join us on our journey and making the world a better place. Thank you.